in terms of being a, a porn star, like you had everything that any girl in that industry would want. You know, you got the fame, you got the popularity, yeah. probably were making more money than most girls. Um, and you kind of threw that all away and now are kind of an advocate like against a lot of the stuff and you speak openly and you're very passionate about kind of what goes on in the in the in the dark sides of the industry and how it's not everything kind of isn't as it seems um so what kind of brought about your change in perspective just <clears throat> i actually had an experience last so i started doing only fans again mm -hmm. and i had an experience last night with another girl that reminded me of how i felt in those times so um it's like, I actually couldn't sleep last night because I was just so hurt by this happening. Mm -hmm. Me and one of my good girlfriends, um, we went live on OnlyFans last night and I just like recognized this facial expression that she had that she looked so uncomfortable. And this was our third time doing it. Like we're friends, like we like kiss off camera and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't expecting it, but I was like, are you okay? Like, are you comfortable? And she's like, oh, I just have anxiety. And then she like went off to the side and started just bawling. Mm -hmm. And I turned the live off and it's just such, like I feel honestly destroyed that I even like had like any part in someone feeling um, not comfortable with what they were doing. And also like she was explaining to me that like she needs to make money for certain things. So she feels like she, like she doesn't say no to all the things that she would want to and mm -hmm. it's probably good that this experience happened with me because i have been through that so much myself that i was able to give her really good advice mm -hmm. even though it's something that like literally killed me inside right. to be part of um but that's essentially what it was is it's a bunch of really young girls who get into the industry like the younger the better for them these girls like when i started i looked like a little kid Mm -hmm. Like I looked like a little kid, um, and that's what they—that's what they like. That's what sells. And <clears throat> a lot of girls, even my friends, we don't feel comfortable saying no for some reason, and mm -hmm. because um, we just—I don't know—it's just like a natural girl thing. I think we're taught as children to like be obedient especially to like men or like if you're raised in a religious family like it's always like obey your father stuff like that and so it's, it's a really big problem with girls feeling pressured by like agents who don't necessarily have their best interest in mind mm -hmm. all right man I, I i try to let her rock man. i try to let her rock first of all i i, I lost my whole train of thought bro because michael porter jr Ball player for Denver Nuggets, which I'm surprised to see him out here doing. The, I mean, everybody doing the podcast thing, but uh, not to not be distracted, bro. Bro, literally just asked her, right? You had all, you had it all. You was the most popping girl in the industry, number one girl, made all this damn money. Now you an advocate for girls to get out. Shawty literally answered that by saying, "Well, I'm right back in." She literally said, I shot OnlyFans with a girl last night, All right? And, you know, being that I have done a research on OnlyFans for work purposes, y'all may remember with Iggy Azalea, I'm thinking, like, I, I know at this point OnlyFans does not mean busting it wide open, bro. It, sometimes women do OnlyFans as, like, a little glorified Instagram uh, page. It don't, it don't be nothing too crazy. But, you know, we got we talking about Lana Rose right here, bro. Ain't nobody gonna be peeping her OnlyFans to see uh, uh, another IG account. But then she confirmed it by saying, you know, I did a fucking girl on girl scene with somebody. It's our third night in a row. And, you know, we kiss all the time off camera. So, you know, she busting over for OnlyFans. Shawty literally answered the question by saying, well, I don't know. I'm not an advocate for it because I'm, I'm, back, I'm back doing this shit again. But then to make matters worse, she out here just crying victim the whole goddamn time. You know, I feel so bad. It killed me inside to see her doing that. Bitch, nobody got a gun to your fucking head tell you to bust it wide open, bro. And then I had to stop it when she's saying, well, it's just what the man won't. The agents take advantage of you. Or uh, the men just like seeing girls. You take the money away, you're not doing that. 
You're not doing none of that, bro. It's a, it's a cop out excuse to fucking be out here having people cry victim for your ass, bro. But like at this point, how can anybody, like even the fucking little wokey ass, sensitive ass motherfuckers that live in La La Land, want to sympathize for how you know the patriarchy forced this girl to be a fucking corn star, which is literally impossible. Can't nobody be forced to be a fucking corn star? If you're getting paid to fucking do it, you're getting paid to fucking do it. You're not getting sexually trafficked. All I see is crocodile tears. Men are pissing inside of women's vaginas, assholes, down their throats. They're sorry. Oh, don't cry. <laughs> Now I'm crying. I'm like, God damn it. I'm surprised his ass ain't. Well, let me, let me keep watching, Brooke. Maybe he said something about it. By like agents who don't necessarily have their best interest in mind. Hell no, they don't have your best and, interest uh, online, bitch. You out here, but don't don't nobody give a fuck about you, bro. You busting open for the camera. You know what you you know what you here to do. You ain't got to take the bread. You ain't got to take the bread, but you taking the bread. So all this shit you talking about. It's pointless. She look crazy now too. Like what type of fucking porn is she doing, dog? Some fucking gothic shit. And I'm doing a lot of things that, that really hurt them. Like for me, there are certain scenes that I did that I I felt like I didn't say anything to them because it's work and I wanted to be professional. But for example, when the camera would be behind me and you couldn't see my face, I would be gagging or crying mm -hmm. because I felt like I was being raped because yeah. I did not want to be doing it, and I didn't want Man. to be- Shawty is a multi-millionaire for being- That shit pisses me off, dog. That's the problem with the world, dog. It's a problem, it's a problem. They're always the victims. Always fucking victims, bro. It's on the man. I'm doing it because the man making me do it. Nah, bitch, you doing it because all that goddamn money you getting, all the attention you getting, all that fame you getting, which is clearly the reason why, because you right back into it. Fuck you need to do porn for, unless you spent all your money recklessly. If your ass ain't sitting on millions of dollars, you a fucking retard, bro. But I know your ass sitting on some things because I seen the little storyline you had with uh Logan Paul, boy. You know what I'm saying? You was stunting. We know you sitting on some things, so why the fuck you back here doing that shit again after all this crime victim your ass been doing? Now you wanna put it on thick saying you felt like you was being a bitch. Let's see how much more crime she gonna do. Painting the man as the enemy. <laughs> Painting the man as the enemy while the man is putting all that money up pocket. She need one of these shirts too, bro. You literally being a headache to yourself. But she not, dog. She not. She not. She know what the fuck she doing. She know what the fuck she doing with them fucking puppy dog eyes making it seem like she um, been a damn sex slave or something. Bitch. Feeling, um, cause I was honestly like disgusted by the person that I was having to shoot with cause you don't get to choose. Right. So it's just stuff like that that can be very- You don't get to choose who's tipping. You can't say no. You can't say no. You can't say no. The most, the, the it girl, the most popping girl in the whole industry. You can't say no to somebody? Very damaging, and it's not—it's not the other people's fault. Um, it's just a huge problem that there's not really anything to set up to protect girls that are young and vulnerable that don't know how to say no or or don't like have self-respect for themselves yet or care for themselves or love themselves because they've been through so much and like mm -hmm. taught not to. And I feel like a lot of people, you know. I don't know if you guys receive the backlash like, oh, you guys chose to do this or whatever. But when you're when you're in your teenage years and then you're around these these older men, I'm sure they're all older. Yeah, that they're are, all in their forties. They know exactly like how to get you to do what you want, what they want to make them money. Mm -hmm. And then you to make them money. To make them money. As evil as these men are being painted, I don't, I ain't trying to hear that shit. You know right from wrong, right? You know what fast money is. You know what a hoe is. You know what a stripper is. You know what a corn star is. You know what come with that fucking territory. I don't give a fuck. Only a certain type of motherfucking sit there and do that, period. I don't care what type of trauma you've had in the past, man. Only a certain type can do that. The type to sit here and play victim after she's been the most famous woman in the world to some extent. Nobody trying to hear this, bro. I said Michael acting real light skinned right now, dog. 
You acting real light skin right now, bro. But I know you and you're not gonna hold the flame to her ass if you invited her as a guest on your podcast. You should have, dog. You should have, bro. She 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 make more money than you do. <laughs> hold on, let's see. Let's see if they have any idea how much uh Lana Rhodes net worth is. Let's see. Let's see. The one that's been victimized so much and they they raped me. They raped me and you know they forced me to do it and they just groomed me from a young age, but I'm worth as of 2022, I see 24 million. Well, she definitely got way more than a fucking million, bro. Yeah, I'm seeing 20 million, bro. So uh, I don't, you, there's no way you're a fucking victim of anything when your ass is sitting on M's. Only folks being victims are the ones that ain't getting paid to do it, bro. Like, you just being objectified, but you objectifying yourself, right? You got women out here getting trafficked from city to city, country to country, continent to continent, ran through multiple fucking times. Real fucking victims, they ain't getting paid a cent for it. You know what I'm saying? You got the fucking nerve to talk about I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just a damsel in distress. I couldn't help it. She definitely lost me talking about that R word, bro. You don't play with that fucking word. You don't play with that fucking word, man. Also, like, if your body, it's just not natural for, for people, I think, to be having sex with people that they don't know mm -hmm. and that they're not attracted to. Um, and also, like, even if you do like doing sex work, there might be a day where you don't like having sex or you don't want to be sexual and you still have to do it anyway so it's a bit traumatizing yeah, uh, no there's days that i don't run to record don't want to work but I, I got to i signed up for it i volunteered for, to do it i ain't go that but i, I don't even want to i don't even want to compare my shit to like bro motherfuckers have to go to work every day nine to five to get paid it's the way of the world, bro. You signed up to goddamn take some, you better take that. I wanna hear that shit or get another fucking job. To share your body in that way because it's such an intimate thing. Right. And it's it's just not natural to be doing no, 100 agree. that That's stuff. Cheating. Like imagine like you just meet someone in the lobby and like you're not attracted to them at all. And it's like, okay, now you have to, you have to fuck them and pretend that you like it. Right. No, that's definitely It's tough. awful. It's crazy. No. Well then don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get a fucking big ass blade. Knowing that if I I knowing how much this shit gonna fucking hurt if I stab myself in a motherfucking thigh and do it anyway. Bruh, you crying about some shit that you volunteering to goddamn do. Don't nobody give a fuck. There's people out here suffering with real problems. You, you, all that shit is self-inflicted. You doing that shit to your goddamn self and want people to feel bad for you. No, nah, this is definitely crazy to think about. It's definitely, so, I mean, I think it's something obviously more, more intimate. But I think, you know, I'm sure guys in the industry, they don't, they probably don't process stuff the way females do. Like, they're in there living their best life probably like that's so some of them so like maybe when they first got into it but a lot of them do have problems too um mm -hmm. like there's like these injections that guys have to do before the scenes like they can't even get hard anymore right yeah i didn't um, hear about that yeah actually. so they have to like shoot up their dick with some sort of stimulant i don't know what it is or i i did date one guy um when i was in the porn industry who was like a director and he performed in his own scenes mm -hmm. And they get, which I've seen this with like celebrity men too that have hooked up with a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. They get so like numb to just regular sex or um, just women that they end up having like these like really intense fetishes because they can't like get off to normal things anymore. Like mm -hmm. I've met guys who like being peed on who buy cookies with poop in them off the internet and watch girls yeah. pooping. <laughs> Honestly, I know what you're talking about because I even in the NBA, like like you talk about, and this is why I think uh, like porn is dangerous, but also hooking up with too many people and, and because you get desensitized to the to the normal thing, and this yeah. happens in the NBA. Like I hear I hear wild stories about some of these dudes, but like you said, oh trust me, I know. <laughs> other <laughs> other celebrities too that their fetishes get so crazy. You know, they might be a straight a straight 
man, but yeah. they've done so much stuff with so many pretty girls and they have so much access to pretty girls that, you know, now they're over here messing with trannies or yeah. now they're over or here man. or now they're over here yeah. messing with dudes. And it's like, it's crazy to think about. And I think, obviously, I think the porn industry has a part to play in that because. Don't cry victim and expose the whole industry, huh? That's, don't that shit got Diddy written all over it? That's what I heard, too, the reason why Diddy does all that weird shit. Because he just was oversaturated with the top-notch moistness for too long that he ventured off into the male booty hole. That's what I heard, bro. That's what I heard happens to a lot of these fools. <laughs> Including them in the NBA, bro. I can't, I can't fathom that, nor can I rationalize that, bro. Like, you... If you do that, you already had that in your system, bro. I don't give a damn, dog. You can't go from vag to male booty if you are a heterosexual male, dog. These motherfuckers already had that sugar in their tank straight up, bro. And it also goes to show all these women out here that's out here chasing these, you know, high celebs and shit, bro, that what you are opening yourself up to getting involved with their ass, bro. But get you a ball player, a celeb, chances are he's got them plowed through quite a bit of puss. Probably quite a bit of some male booty holes, too, so you opening yourself up to being infected by whatever the fuck they, uh, they got. You know what I'm saying? That is that is that is uh, very prominent within the industry, Hollywood. Motherfuckers out here that have the status and clout to do what they want to do with whomever they want to do it with. You know what I'm saying? You and her, what's what old girl talking about? Um, what's a Jaguar, right? Uh, weaponizing herps and in, in the hip and all types of shit, bro. Because they doing so much, bro. Women definitely need to see that, dog. You just stay away from them ball players. You think you want the, you think you want that that lavish life, but there's a hefty price, though. I feel bad for these wives and shit too. They opening themselves up to that shit too, bro. They bringing all that shit home. <clears throat> Play with it if you want to. That shit took a damn left, didn't it? <laughs> Crime victim to exposing the industry. Goddamn Mike. <laughs> he called out he called out his partners, bro. Cause they even in the locker room. Uh, listen to the dudes talk about eating shit cookies or <laughs> playing. Why the hell would that ever come up in the, in the locker room, though, bro? Y'all motherfuckers is crazy. Y'all got to keep that shit to yourself.